Hello, people, viewers, and um, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews, where today I'll be reviewing End of Korra, Book 4, Episode 10, Operation Bayfall. Now, this episode picks up where the last one left off with Bolin, Opal, and Lynn's Lynn trying to break out Opal's family in Zhao Fu. And one can know it, Toph comes back. It does great seeing her. And scenes that she and Lynn are really like well they have issues apparently. Lynn not on her father, Toph not seem not like caring about and Sue's feelings. It's just, it's just good to see that. And um, back in Poker City, they're trying to decide what to do. Where and Sami so have some uh, ro uh, mech plans, like for robots. Sue's so making fly in that. Cora is asking spirits to help it to fight. And Prince Wu actually said something sensible. He, he just suggests to evacuate the city in case the enemy gets hurt. That has to be the first sensible thing he had ever su suggested in this type of situation. But when you know it, he just did it to impress Korra. Like, try to get a date for from, from her. Oh, God. I know that some characters never showed the exchange a little. But Prince Wu needs to change a lot. And um, we see Kovir's um, spirit buying cannon thing and it's not working because it turned out that Julie was sabotaging it and was really on Kovir's side. I saw that a mile away. I didn't believe her. For a second, that he would betray her and work with Colvere, or even trust her. Ugh, God. And the fighting in it are just good, well animated, and just fantastic. And the and top fighting is just go great as always. And I like. But I like to see that she said to the cover that she's a disgrace to metal benders. He does know it's true for the best earth bender in history. Well, in that world. I mean, you can see a softer side of elderly Toph in this. We've seen soft sides of the young Toph from Blend of Ang, but here we see the soft side of elderly Tough because she doesn't want her kids to hate her. But she knows, as he said, she knows she was a bad mom. But no parent wants her kid to hate them. It's true. It's like uh, no siblings want the other to help to hate the other one. <sighs> and when horrifying fine spirits to help out, he just keep disappearing. And say they won't help by comparing her to Unalak and Colvera. And the spirits are well animated as well. They're kind of, they do look kind of like something from a Miyazaki movie. It's just beautiful. And it turns out that they're, yeah, it does turn out they're on their own because the spirits won't help. And Zuli drops or just tells the Bolin and the other, other than Toffs or, or the Bayfongs. The uh, Kavir is heading to Polk City in two weeks with the Spear Fine Cannon. It is gonna be fantastic the next three episodes. Next week, episode 11, and the following Friday, episode 12 and 13. It it's just 
it's gonna be great. I hope the duck that they don't ruin it somehow or just, just make it go quick. Cause I hate when they does that drop does that see seal up everything like every storyline very quickly. Just don't feel like it yeah has been like settled um and I just hope that it is as good as I hope and I'm really hope I'm not over hyping this but <sighs> I get this episode a nine out of ten. And I'll see you guys later.